as a Palestinian, I would like to thank you all for being here today first. My name is Mazen Abu Ghali and I'm proudly from Gaza. I want to express my deepest gratitude for the Irish-Palestinian Solidarity Campaign for organizing this gathering. And to each of you for showing up, for caring, for refusing to look away. Your presence means everything. It tells us that even in our darkest hours, we are not alone. So today, I'm not here just for myself, for every Palestinian. For every Palestinian who has been silenced, in my voice you will hear the echoes of my family, my friends, and every single soul in Gaza who's living, surviving through this indescribable pain and horror. Our demands are simple, and they are just stop, stop the genocide in Gaza, stop it now! in Lebanon, end the Israeli apartheid, and impose sanctions on Israel. Impose it now! These demands come from a place of humanity, from values that run deep within both of our people. Some years ago, a group of young working single class Irish woman in one of your famous supermarkets decided that they would no longer support the apartheid regime in South Africa. They refused, they refused to sell South African fruits even though it led to, to lots of hardship and struggle they stood firm to draw Irish people's attention to injustice half away across the world. Ireland. Ireland has a proud history of struggling against, against oppression by standing with Palestine. Today, you honor that legacy by coming here and by having your voice since here. Tell the government, sanctions now. Solidarity is more than symbolic. It's hope, it's a strength, and it's a promise of a, bit, a better future for all of us. In Gaza, in Gaza today we are witnessing horror that defy words. People are going days without food, clean water, or medicine. They don't even have the basic safety of knowing that they will see tomorrow. Every day, my family, my friends, and millions of Palestinians endure unspeakable violence. Gaza is under siege, and this is not just a crisis. It's nothing less than the systematic destruction of my people. And it's not only Gaza. It's spreading to the West Bank and the Palestinian community everywhere. This is an existential fight for survival. We are calling, no, we are pleading to the Irish government to act. To stand for justice, to take a stand for humanity. We ask Ireland to enact the occupied territories bill now. To pass the illegal Israeli settlement. Device settlement bill now. To end the arms trade with Israel and to call this crisis what it truly is. Apartheid and genocide. The whole world for Ireland. The whole world is looking for Ireland to hear the Ireland speak out 
to lead with courage and demand an end to this brutality. But, but unfortunately we cannot do that alone. We need you. I'm asking each of you here to make your voices heard. Reach out to your representative in the Irish deal. Call them. Write to them. Demand that Ireland stand for Palestine, for freedom, for justice, for its own values. Tell them that now it's the time for Ireland to lead, to stand unfrenchly on the side of what is right. Together, we can push for a world where dignity, peace, and justice are not just dreams, but are within reach. Thank you all. Thank you all for your solidarity. Thank you for standing for Palestine, for Gaza, for, for my family, for my friends, and with every Palestinian enduring this nightmare. Thank you. Thank you for your belief in justice and freedom and in our uh, shared humanity. Please keep fighting strong alongside us. Keep speaking out. The struggle of the Palestinian people will go until our rights are fully realized, until a democratic Palestinian rises where all people live freely and equality without distinction of race, religion, gender, or background. Long, long live free and democratic Palestine. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free.